Today, I'm gonna show you a high ground retake for every situation. If you master all the retakes in this video, you should feel confident no matter where the opponent is in a build fight. Some of these retakes are a bit advanced, but if you push through and learn them, it'll definitely help you out. Without further ado, Let's hop into it. We're starting out with two standard retakes that I have taught before, so there are timestamps down below if you need to skip around. These two retakes are so important because they pretty much block every angle, so they're super useful at pretty much any point in a fight. We're gonna start out with the phase sway retake. The way you do this is you swing walls above and in front of you, and then place a ramp on top. If somebody's off to your right, swinging the walls just like this blocks your entire right side and your back and top. The only side that's left open is the left, but you can also do the same retake if the opponent's above you and to the left, you would just swing the walls to the left side. So practice doing this on repeat in both directions, and then if you know where the opponent is in a fight, by doing this retake you should be fully protected as long as if you're blocking off the correct side. You also don't need to edit straight forward every time, you can edit to the right or to the left. To make this retake even more flexible, you can also jump and flip the ramp and land on top of it, and then just swing walls and a ramp above you again, just like you did at the start of the retake. And you can literally do these ramp flips on repeat. If you don't already know this retake and it seems too hard, trust me, push through because this is the retake that everybody uses. It's like the generic retake that you need to know. The second generic retake that you should know is cone flipping. This one's really hard to do depending on what your settings are. This is how it works though. Basically, you edit the cone, place a wall to catch the cone from breaking, and then you reset your cone and edit it all in one motion. If you play on edit on release and you're using scroll wheel, you have to set up a second reset button. I use my right mouse button as the reset for this, but when I'm resetting a wall, I use scroll wheel. But the reason this is so good is because every time you flip your cone, your top is already protected by another cone. And if you get really good at cone flips, you can do entire 180s, you can quickly jump out of the side and peace control somebody if they're on that layer. But most importantly, it's like a really quick 90 that's protected at the same time. So it's definitely worth learning. Time to get into the situational retakes. The first retake is quite simple. It was one of the first ones I learned years ago. If somebody's above you and behind you, you first need to make sure you're blocking your back with that initial retake I showed. But then you turn around and place a ramp and spread some cones in that direction. The reason this is useful is it makes it look like you're ramping up towards them on that layer. And it blocks their angle so they can't see you anymore. After placing those ramps and cones, you have so many options. The first option is jump onto that ramp and cone and go up in that direction. If the opponent is on that layer, going that way will give you an opportunity to peace control them. The second option is if the opponent is one layer higher up, you can place walls above you and peace control through that wall. And then if the enemy's even higher up, or if you're just trying to take high ground, you can swing high walls into place just like this and get up two layers or even more if you need to get higher. You can see that this retake, if used correctly, gives you so many options and gives you so many opportunities to peace control the enemy depending on what layer they're on. It's gonna take practice, but basically anytime the opponent is above and behind you, you can use this move. The second situational retake is for the same exact situation where the opponent is above and behind you, but this one is for a really quick turnaround play. This is what it looks like. You place a ramp and then double edit through a floor and cone, place walls, and then you do a whole 180, catching yourself with a wall, ramp, and then a floor and cone. From here, you have three options. You can triple edit straight through that floor and cone that you just placed. By going straight through that floor and cone, sometimes you can catch somebody with quick peace on that layer. Or it's just a fast way to turn around and start ramping towards the enemy. Similar to that, if those triple edits are too fast paced for you, you can literally just place a wall and ramp out the side rather than triple editing through. I recommend to place a cone on top right there just because if the enemy's holding an angle on you, you're gonna get shot unless you place that cone. And then the other option is doing a cone flip after doing the 180. The best time to use the cone flip is if you're trying to get up an extra a layer or two. Like if you know that when you triple edit through the floor and cone, you're gonna get bopped, or maybe the enemy is just waiting there, then you're gonna wanna do the cone flip to get up extra layers and not go the way that they're predicting you're gonna go. But yeah, so those are two options for if the opponent is above and behind you. What if the opponent is off to either of your sides? What's the best way to handle those situations? 
My personal opinion is this right here, it's super easy. I literally just extend a ramp and cone out in the direction that the opponent is. So if the opponent's off to the right, I'll extend a ramp and cone in that direction to block their angle. And from there, you can either go up that ramp and cone or you can 90 up over your ramp and cone, blocking that right side the entire time. That's the important part. You gotta make sure that the whole time you're blocking the angle that the opponent is at. I'd say my favorite way to handle this is place the ramp and cone and then place high walls in that direction and do like high wall 90s, just like I'm doing on screen here. If the opponent is next to any of those walls, you can piece control through and get them boxed, or you can just do this retake and take high ground. This is gonna be the same exact thing if the opponent's on the left. Just make sure you're practicing it both ways because if you don't, you might have like trouble doing it one way. I know I have trouble doing it from the left, so. The last situational retake you need to know is also pretty easy. It's for when somebody's in front of you and above you. Let's say you're both ramp rushing each other, but the opponent is higher up. One good way to counter this is literally just swinging front high walls into position while jumping and landing on a ramp. This gets you up layers and you can use that high wall to try to get a cone over top of the enemy. So if you get a cone through this wall here, you might just catch them on this ramp and then you can edit through that wall and get them full boxed. Or you can just keep 90ing up and get over top of them after getting them coned if you're going for high ground in late game. But literally anytime you're ramp rushing the opponent and you see that they're higher up than you, just throw those high walls into position in front of you. That way you're blocking that angle and you're not going to get pumped from above. So those are my go-to retakes for different situations in build fights. Once you get them all down, just practice doing them all together in free builds and make sure you're feeling really comfortable with it. And after that, you can start applying them in 1v1s. I hope this video helped you out and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.